hey what up this is market is one of the biggest problems for facebook uh, ads is that if you are just starting out uh, on a brand new business you don't have any custom audience at all so without custom audience you know your pixel does not have much data to show these ads to the right people uh, that would be interested in your products or services or you can you know create a look at like audience where uh, these people are more likely to be interested in your products or services so you got to start by doing interest targeting which is what most people would start out doing and with interest targeting the problem is that uh, Facebook only shows you a small snippet of uh, audiences that you can show your ads to and what happens is that every advertiser on Facebook is looking at the same uh, audiences that Facebook suggests to them right so what happens is that the, this drives up the cost of your CPMs and everyone will be competing on the same audience where there's actually hidden audiences that you can target they are less likely um, you know to be uh, you know to be to be shown uh, your competitors ads as well and so the cost of running ads to them may be lower right and the other thing is that uh, this this tool that we're going to be talking about today is also a Google um, ads right Google keyword ads um, spy tool so you can actually uh, look at your competitors and see what kind of um, keywords that they are targeting uh, on the Google AdWords right so this tool that we're going to be talking about today is um, ad targeting and before I dive into ad targeting be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in um, ad targeting but I'm not going to jump in uh, first we're going to go into uh, Facebook business suit right now and I'm going to show you uh, what happens right so for example if I were to search for yoga okay and what happens is that this is what Facebook allows me to target right because there's no scroll button that's this is everything that is uh, in the audience uh, for uh, you know uh, in in uh, when you are trying to create an ad on Facebook right so when you go into the detail targeting this is what you get so let's say you type in yoga pants you know this is all there is to target right this is all the interest that there is right yoga mat for example this is all there is uh, in the targeting but if I were to jump into ad targeting right here let's say I were to type in um, yoga mat okay uh, okay so yoga mat this is on the only one but let's say if I were to type in um, yoga okay you would see uh, okay so let's jump into yoga again so this is all there is for yoga uh, interest right so it's you know yoga yoga pants uh, yoga journal hatha yoga hot yoga kudalini yoga ashtanga vis vinyasa vinyasa yoga uh, yoga alliance raja yoga international yoga day right and that's all there is right which is pretty much the first 10 result here but actually there is a lot more audiences that I could target right here I've got Bikram yoga yin yoga uh, Iyenga yoga karma yoga yoga international yoga mat uh, yoga as exercise or alternative medicine so for example I were to uh, what I want to target this group right here okay yoga as exercise okay and then you see the interest pop up right here right and I can look for even um, let's say I were to sort the audiences down uh, to the smallest I could even find um, some of these let's say uh, uh, Minneapolis core power yoga okay and you can see uh, the interest right here right so this is how uh, using ad targeting is able to um, help you to find um, hidden interest in Facebook ads right in the interest targeting so what happens is that you'll be able to target your ads more precisely uh, to uh, you know uh, hidden audiences that aren't being shown ads uh, as in they aren't uh, actively being 
targeted by advertisers on Facebook. All right, so the cost, your CPMs are lower, right? And uh, because there's less competitors, you have a higher, uh, you know, you you might have a higher conversion rate as well because they don't uh, necessarily see um, more yoga ads, right? If you are running a yoga um, product uh, or, or service to them, you know, you might have a higher chance of, uh, you know, finding customers from there rather than you know being shown a bunch of uh, yoga ads uh, with what is being uh, recommended by by Facebook right which is all this right here right so this is one way and the, the cool thing about um, yoga uh, right here sorry um, the uh, ad targeting right here is that if I were to let's say look at this audience right here I can click on this um, I icon and it can tell me where uh, most of the audiences are from so most of them are from uh, United States of America some of them are from India some from Taiwan some from uh, Brazil and so on right so this is how the audience is made up of and I can look at the gender and age as well so if I know who my perfect customer uh, is what happens is that I can look at uh, you know what is the you know the age group of the you know audience right here right so you know usually I would say that if you are able to get a larger number uh, possibly in the 35 to 45 range you know those are the people with more money to spend on you right so those will be you know much better I would say and also you can look at the Google um, you know the Google uh, ads if anyone is actually targeting this particular keyword itself so that isn't any okay right okay let me just okay so I can look at the top countries and the gender and age okay and then um, and then uh, let's see okay so and and what happens is that I can instantly all right uh, jump over to the search icon right here and I can look at the Facebook so I can see um, who is the you know the the you know maybe like the Facebook page or whichever is um, you know interested in this particular um, topic itself right maybe okay so I can instantly be able to jump in and search within Facebook itself um, and uh, let's and and uh, this is this is what um, you're able to do with uh, you know this ad targeting right here and you can search by advertiser as well so ad targeting also does um, you know uh, you know at uh, this uh, spying right at spying okay so for example um, I can click on uh, this one right here okay and it can tell me who is running ads uh, for this particular interest right here and I can see like the advertising trends um, it tells me that this particular advertiser okay is running um, ads during this period uh, to this group of people right and uh, these are some of the hot words all right and then it's targeted at Vietnam uh, and it's they are running ads to Facebook only, right? And uh, what kind of ads do they run, right? So I can actually spy on my competitors right here, okay? And look at all the ads that they run uh, from here with it itself, right? Okay, and I can look at their, you know, ad ID and everything right here. I can look at their ads right here right and um, let's go back okay so it also tells me you know when are they running those ads uh, they've been running those ads 
since April 17, 2019 till now uh, they are still running some uh, October 11 that's they're still running some ads right so you uh, rainbow yoga so these are the ones that are actually targeting the interest itself and uh, you know they are running it to their page or website right here and this one also uh, sends people to their whatsapp uh, message right here as well okay so that's uh, your facebook ad spy uh, feature of ad targeting okay so the next one we will be jumping into is uh, of course uh, with the facebook interest i forgot to mention is that um, you can also look up uh, suggestions right so these are the you know suggested pages that uh, you may want to run your ads to okay because they probably don't have much uh you know don't have much uh, competitors okay right so um, when they give you the number they also tell you right like for example what's the age range that has the highest makeup so this one is 35 percent right 34 percent and uh, so on so let's say like this one is 29 right so maybe the Pilates one uh, you know may be good to target um, this one has a high markup of uh, the 25 to 34 range right hinduism so most people are from the that age group okay and uh you can look at the gender as well which is in here the audience and um, all that right here you can filter them down as well so let's say um, you're going to be targeting targeting people in singapore okay and for example uh you know you want to create an audience that uh is of a certain size right then you'll be able to you know uh select so for example you're to target uh audiences between hundred thousand to one million right you can filter that down as well uh if it's one million to five million you can select that as well so that's where um you know you can filter down uh, the right audiences to target on Facebook and the next one would be the Google keyword right so you will be able to actually look up um, who is you know running uh, so for example uh, this this yoga keyword right here um, it's it's uh, so You can actually look at um, how the uh, you know the keyword uh, popularity is and what is the cost per click, what's the search volume, the uh, you know what what are the top countries for the audiences and you know any other keywords that you can target right here. Okay, so what happens is uh, let's let's look up um, yoga right and okay let me try like yoga studio or something okay so what happens is that um you when i look up yoga studio right, i can see for example um this person here this couple of uh, people here running ads on uh on uh, google okay so for example I want to um, look up um, this this one right here platinum yoga dot com all right I want to see um, what kind of keywords are they targeting I can put it in here okay sorry I gotta change it to domain okay and I can put in the uh, the uh, Google uh, keyword right here sorry I can put in the domain right here and it's going to pull up all the keywords uh, that this particular um, yoga studio platinum yoga is targeting on right so they are targeting yoga angmokyo yoga trial right uh, yoga trial class so these are the all the keywords that they are targeting platinum yoga private limited platinum yoga yoga trial class singapore platinum yoga review uh, platinum yoga price singapore platinum yoga price right 
and, and so on so these are all the keywords that they are running ads to right now um, and I can I can look up um, everything that uh, is here right and I can also look at the uh, you know the keyword uh, popularity and uh, what's the the difficulty right here right the cost per click and so on right and I can also look up um, suggestions so suggestions would be you know at targeting actually telling you what are some of the uh, you know easy keyword uh, you know less probably like less competitive or you know good good keywords to target on from the entire list that they have okay so uh pretty much this is you can also of course you can also uh, filter down like the language the search volume the cost per click and uh you know the difficulty right the paid difficulty score right so pretty much this is uh at targeting um i think that this is a very nifty tool there are a couple of uh, hidden interests um, at targeting to uh out there uh on the market right uh but what at targeting does is you know it it goes in a little bit deeper okay it doesn't just find uh hidden interest for you but it's also a spy tool that you can look up uh what kind of ads are these advertisers running and you can also look up uh you know uh what kind what which keywords are these uh websites running on uh Google keyword ads and I think that's the value of uh, ad targeting right here. So pretty much that's all I have to share about ad targeting. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you know anyone who could benefit from a spy tool, right? So Google and Facebook ad spy tool or, uh, you know, a hidden interest uh, targeting tool for Facebook, right? Be sure to share this video with them. And uh, if uh, let me know what you think about ad targeting in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in my next video.